Hey guys, Malfunction here. Um, there's something I really want to... I want you guys to think about um, if you're into anime, right? If you're really into anime. And um, I love anime. I've loved anime for quite a while. And um, it's something that I've, you know, enjoy a lot of. And I, know, I remember when I was at film school way back in 2003. And I think it was about 2004 when I actually started... And um, when people talk about anime, all they, you know, the first thing that people brought up, and then my, um, people in my class brought up was, oh, it's, it's hentai, you know, uh, octopus uh, sex, and, uh, um, and, you know, women getting raped, and all those weird monsters, and because one of the famous things at that time was that people were quite aware of, and was freaked out about, was just a series of these really full-on, um, monster, you know, sexualized, uh, pornography type, um, and of course, it's hentai, um, anime, and so, actually, I shouldn't do that, because it's making noise, it's distracting me from concentrating, and so, what, what would, um, you yeah, know, we talked about it in class, because it was part of filmmaking, right, because it was about telling, um, stories, and anime is such a huge, old, um, you know, old style of artwork, um, there's a pic picture of a girl in a swing, uh, that was done during the Renaissance, and it was one of the things that was brought up, and my art tutor at the time, amazing, amazing female tutor of ours, that was just, you know, it was just brilliant, it was one of my favorite tutors of all time, that I've had, and, um, and she was very learned, and very, um, you know, had doctorate, doctorates in many things. And, um, and she, was, she brought up this picture, and there was this, uh, you know, ran, uh, girl on a swing, I think that's what it was basically probably called. Because, you know, some people are just not imaginative about, you know, titling their, some, you know, what they, the pieces of art they work on. And it was, a, I guess it was oil painting, and... That was, at that time, pornography, right? For for England at that time, or Europe, or Renaissance time, that was basically pornography. That was like basically erot eroticism, I should say, not pornography, eroticism, right? And so, at the same time in Japan, you actually had pornography in art. Like, you actually had eroticism in art. That was actually erotic, whereas... Uh, the Western version with the Renaissance, it was quite, v uh, what they call it, v vanilla, right? So it was a vanilla version. Now, so you can see the difference in how the two cultures look at sexuality. Uh, Westerners uh, have a real, you know, European have, have a really, uh, I guess a really, oh, I can't find the words, Taboo. That's it. Taboo when it comes to sexuality, when it comes to uh, female genitalia and male genitalia and, um, ex you know, so that sort of thing. And so for Western society, it's been quite hidden. Uh, you can see that when it came to kind of like puritism type um, turn of the century when it came to New Zealand, they would lop off all the, all the gen genitalia uh, car carvings on uh, on on um, Maori Maori carvings here in New Zealand, they would just chop it off and they'll be all taken away in buckets in the in the museums. There's, there, I've heard stories where um, they said that there's buckets of at that time. This is about two decades ago that there was these buckets of wooden genitalia, male genitalia, because they'd just been locked off by the Puritans, uh, Christian Puritans at the time, you know, the turn of the century. Uh, and so when they came, and then the you know the artwork was taken away, so you had that in the Western society where you couldn't see that. You had David as well. Somewhere along the way, they locked the uh, the statue of David's uh, genitalia off, his penis off. Hopefully, people don't get freaked out by that. So now, as I'm talking about and thinking about what's happening with anime right now, where uh, people like the creator of Pokemon's going. Hey, we need to, you know, we need to stop uh, 
a certain type of um, anime being produced. That is censorship. That's a censorship of someone who's made it so, his, his form of art so huge that he can now look back and chuck and throw off at someone of another genre, a subgenre of it, right? That's like right now with you've, you've got like um, an attack on Twitter against, by Twitter, and censorship of the Soska sisters, one of the greatest female uh, horror creators in the world right now, right? Female, you know, creators. And, and because of the prosthetic um, non-CGI, because everything's freaking CGI now, so, and hey, I work in digital as well, I love design, I do it all digital, right? So, mostly, 99%. Anyway, so, they went off on, on the Soskas about that. So they're trying to censor what we should be celebrating right now. And so this is, a, this is the whole thing about Western idealisms about another culture, another country, another country's art form. And, and anime has so many different subgenres. You, there's any genre you can think of, there is, there is, it's there. And so, when people start going, well, you know what, we're going to start and start buying up and start doing, you know, getting involved, like special, like, War, I guess Warner and Disney starting to um, go into Japan and going, what's going to happen, and trying to, you know, sort of like, um, get their artists to learn anime so that, you know, later on, they can produce their own anime in-house. So the problem with that is, and if you haven't, sort of thought about it or haven't really thought about it. I, I like to, I think a lot about these things before I start speaking about them. And sometimes I get it wrong, but then, of course, I'll correct myself. But what I think right now, off the top of my head, after the last couple of um, months about this happening and the attacks on, on uh, various anime things, because the thing is, the first way people, what they do, anything... Any time people want to take control of something, they attack it first, right? They'll they'll attack it and they'll go, okay, this is bad, you know, this is bad. They'll influence it by saying, oh, look, 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 this is bad, that's bad. Oh, that's, they shouldn't be doing that, they, they shouldn't be doing that. It becomes a bad thing. But then they'll go, now we'll make it good, right? Now we'll get out there and we'll change it so it's good. But what you've done is basically taken away something that's not even yours, and now that you've you've pushed them the creators aside, now you're going to create your version of it, and without any respect to that. Now, it's a two two edged sword these sort of things because in one way you're saying, oh, I respect what they do, so I'm going to use it. But the other way is I'm going to I'm going to take what they do, make it better chuck it, you know, chew it up and spit it out and say, hey, look, now there's a better version of anime. You don't have to worry about that side. You don't have to worry about that thing. You don't have to worry about that. Hey, look, here's a nice, clean, simple version of it. But what you've done is you've taken away other creators who actually create for other people that like that sort of stuff. There's things that I hate or dislike, but I'm not going to stop other people from creating that. I'm not going to stop them from saying that because I don't have a right as a human being, as a person, to tell someone they can't do something that they're passionate about doing because there's a market for everything. And it's a, wor it's a worry to me as a person who enjoys anime, who loves all types of anime, who, who you know, will go and watch, com um, you know, Batman and then turn on, um, say, uh, Trigon, right? Or... Um, Attack on Titan was big. I was watching it before it became big, and now I'm like, I don't can't even bothered because I've enjoyed the first two seasons, and that was amazing. Right, I can't be bothered watching anything else because there's too much stuff out. But so you can pick and choose what you like. But the problem is when you start trying to dictate an art form to clean it up. That is something that's very strange way to go about showing. Uh, appreciation it's actually controlling and trying to you know saying hey look this is our version of that 
because and our version is better. So you don't have to worry about their version because our version is better. It's like um, let's say it's like taking a Japanese movie, right, and then turning it into an American movie, Americanizing it, right. So basically changing everything about it, and and basically putting um, uh, Western cult people into it, changing the story to come around to, to make it work into a thing. That's where I think Death Note sucked so bad as an anime, but as a movie that worked, was already there, that you could basically go on, go online and watch it, or you, or you could go buy CD or DVD, or you could uh, basically Prime Video or whatever, stream it, and you could watch it, the Death Note actual Japanese version. But because people think we are too lazy to read the subtitles on there, they're dumbing it down for us. And I think that's kind of sad. Because by, by dumbing it down, you're saying, well, you know what? We will only watch, Westerners will only watch Japanese movies if there are Western versions of them. Right? And I love dub, dub anime. I love it. I think it's pretty cool. Because that means I can multitask. I can put the DVD in or whatever. Right? I can put my little... Uh, I can put my little DVD in, right, and have that going on on the little screen on my on my computer while I do my work on my 43 inch, right? I can 20, 20 inches of it will, the, will be the movie, the DVD playing, and the other 20 inch will be the movie playing. So I can listen to it in English, so I, but I'm watching it on and off while I'm working. That's what I liked about dub versions. But it's still anime. It's still them. And I usually, if it's possible, I'll have the subtitles on because I want to know exactly what is said. It's like watching the songs. It's awesome to have the songs that are sung in Japanese with subtitles in English because then you can actually know what the song's about. Right? I just did that with um, Sword X, um, Gun X Sword because I was like, it's a really, really beautiful um, um, song. I wonder what the what, did, what it actually means and it was really beautiful so I think the whole worrisome thing for me about anime is seeing people, uh, westerners going into Japan to learn an art form but what they're going to do then is create anime in-house at Disney at Warner right and it's not going it's going to hurt the actual creators because the artists there are not going to get paid so you're basically taking jobs away from people who actually create this stuff. The artists who have spent all their lives, basically most of them, right, or even if they're young, they've spent like five years, they've been kids watching this, doing it, learning this, the art form, learning how to uh, do the manga, and then having that manga sold to become anime, because that's, that goes on to be them. But guess what happens if you, as a Western studio, do it? You've cut out the anime creators, you've cut out the musicians, you've cut out the uh, voice actors there, uh, Japanese voice actors, you've cut out the writers, you cut out the illustrators. So instead of creating your own thing, now you're taking an art form that, that belongs to somebody else and basically ripping off everyone that's built that whole thing industry up. Because you're going to use the love of the fan base that we, they already have and sell a product that you're cheaply creating yourself because it's not going to be good quality, right? Because there's no years of learning of this product, right? There's no years of learning of this art form. It's just a new thing. You've just, you've just basically grabbed something and said, here, right? This is, this is what's worrisome to me about anime right now. And I don't know if anybody's really talked about it. I know I've heard um, Evie, um, Ethan Van Skiver talk about it. I've heard some other people just mention it. But I thought, really, we need to really start talking about it in a big way. Because I love anime. Uh, I don't read manga a lot because I, I, I've got too much to do. I don't have time to be reading. Uh, that's why I'm watching a lot of my anime. I watch a lot of my anime. And I watch a lot of older 
uh, American animated series. Like right now, I'm enjoying Duckman, right? Um, um, there's other ones I was just finished watch, uh, still watching. Um, um, Men in Black, the animated series, is amazing. The character Elle in this is just brilliant. Um, the female character Elle. Uh, it's just, yeah, it's just, they just develop her so well in that animated character. It's like an um, animated series. It's worth watching, guys. And Duckman, if you, it's a mature, uh, mature series. Very cool. Um, all these come out in the 90s, if I remember right. So, yeah, I'm not saying don't watch the other stuff. I'm just saying that we need to be really thinking out loud about and talking and discussing how this is going to affect the industry and of animation and manga in Japan. That's their actual cultural art form that goes back a long time, guys. Right? Goes back a long time. And, um, yeah. And I think... I think Disney just should do more Disney stuff. Um, you know, Pixar should just do Pixar stuff. Just carry on doing what you're doing. Create new, new products. And people will love what you're doing. But if you're going to say, well, the... Mango and anime is the biggest thing right now in the world. Why? Because the people who created it have put their heart and soul into it. And those people are being honored for what they've done. You can't suddenly go, this is a good product, let's make more of it our way. And this is what I'm just saying. It's just, just such, a, such a sad um, state of affairs when, when, you, when you really think about it, um, how, they've, you know, how it's going to go. And it's kind of a sad thing. And, yeah, I think more people, hey, man, I mean, yeah, let me know what you think, because I might be wrong in this, but hopefully I'm not, and hopefully I am, because, I mean, I, I think I'm not, but hopefully I am wrong, but I want to see in about another five years what's going to happen, but I'm a bit worried about anime right now. Um, yeah. My name's Mel, Malfunction, check me out on um, Twitter and Instagram. Cheers guys, have a good one.